coastal geomorphological setting along the east coast around Vishakhapatnam fascinates the geologists as well as the tourists by its very beautiful landscapes. The confluence of Varha and Sharada rivers originating from the high reaches of the eastern Ghats after they complete the journey and meet the sea. The scenic features of the coast are rugged scarps, its ever-changing beaches and bars, its silent marshes with their mysterious past, all excite the imagination and tempt the wanderer near the shore to seek an explanation for the manifestations of nature's handiwork. Wide golden beaches with ripple marks formed by relentless efforts of waves, tides and winds. The geological structures formed in these sediments convey the story of how the sediments have been deposited. They also convey that the material has been brought by the erosion of different rock material in the geological past. The black layers observed are in the geological parlance referred as heavies and mafics, which may probably be of economic significance. The relentless efforts of tides and waves over a period of more than two million years have left their indelible imprints on the rock in the form of pock marks, scoop surfaces, hoods, caves and benches. At the same time, the marine fauna in the form of shells embedded in the rock surfaces and crevices reveal to you the marine past. This is a huge cave within the condolite at an elevation of 10 meters from the sea level. There are also small caves on the rock surface at an elevation of 15 to 20 meters. 
from the present day sea level these caves within the condolite indicate the sea level in the past various erosional features caused by sea erosion are clearly visible now features like wave cut caves which are being formed today by the pounding of waves can now be seen the waves and tides are in action creating erosional features the way it has been done in the geological past appears that the marine erosion was quite intense along the weak plains and minerals which couldn't offer resistance this rock promontory or the erosional remnant of the condolite rock which is seen standing isolated and it is quite possible a day will come when this will also be finally demolished by the wave action the manifestation of erosion on the surface of these condolitic rocks are distinctly visible all along the cliff coast where rocky promontories are exposed a close look up suggests the constant action of marine water which has caused intense weathering within these rocks is an important tourist destination 
in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Located in the Anantagiri hill ranges of Vishakapatnam district. This is located at an elevation between 800 meters to 1300 meters above mean sea level. It is a unique example of karstic phenomenon. The cave was discovered in the year 1807 by William King George, a British geologist. It is called Burra Gohalu in Telugu. Burra means something that has been bored into the ground and Gohalu which means caves. The caves have been formed by the dissolution of carbonate rocks, by percolating waters which gives rise to stalactites and stalagmites of varying dimensions. Stalactites are the columns of calcium carbonate which hang from the roof of the cave and tapers downward. Whereas the stalagmites are the pillars or columns that have been formed at the base of the caves and grows upward. The presence of well-rounded gravel at different elevations within the caves suggests that there was a flowing water course connected to the river Gostani which are responsible for the formation of the cave within these carbonate rocks. The regional geology of the area where the caves are located is represented by the condylite group of rocks of Archaean age. Bauxite cappings Bauxite laterite cappings are of variable extent and thickness which occurs on several hilltops at an elevation of 1000 meters and above. The important bauxite deposits in the area are Galikonda Chittangondi in Araku area at Gudem and Saparla in Chintapalli area. The alumina in the ore ranges from 45 to over 51 percent. Some more cappings are also reported in Minimaluru and Anantagiri areas. The district forms a part of Eastern Ghat mobile belt exposing all the characteristic little units of the Eastern Ghat supergroup such as the condylite, charnukite and megmatite. Volcanic ash. This is a volcanic ash bed, light grey in colour, 
and is well preserved within the flood plain deposits in Aroko Valley. This is a wind-bound sediment identified in almost all the river valleys of the east coast. This ash is made up of glass shreds formed from acid eruption and is used as a marker horizon in correlation of quaternary sediments. The ash seen here in Naruko Valley is correlatable with youngest Toba tuff of Sumatra Islands, which has given dates 70,000 years. Dibalum, the Red Sediment Mounds. The Erramati Dibalum is located 15 kilometers northeast of Vishakapatna in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Between Vishakapatnam and Bhimuni Patnam on the east coast of India. Eramati Dibalu occurs as red color sediments which are deeply dissected by small streams. This is a unique geological entity having important information concerning climatic changes during quaternary period from 0 to 2.5 million years. The reddening of the sediments is attributed to the post-depositional phenomena. This area is characterized by conspicuous gulling and formation of V-shaped valleys. <laughs> 